Hi, welcome to my new lesson video and this is part one of my discussion about derivative of a function from the subject differential calculus. I am Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. The derivatives that I will discuss in this lesson video are derivative of f of x equals ax where a is the coefficient and x is our variable with exponent equal to 1. The second one is the derivative of f of x equals x raised to n, where in the coefficient is 1 and our variable x is raised to any real number except 1. Then, the derivative of f of x equals a x raised to n, where a is the coefficient and it is any real number and n is the exponent of x, which is also any real number, and except 1. Also, I will be discussing how to derive or get the derivative of f of x equals c, where c is a, is a constant, any real number. And then, we all, I will also discuss how to get the derivative of a polynomial. In calculus, we usually use the expression f of x instead of y, but basically they're just the same. When it comes to their derivatives, the derivative of y is y prime, or should we say that the derivative of our function f of x is f prime of x. So this is how we express the derivative of y and the derivative of our function. Sometimes it is also expressed as dy over dx. This is one way of expressing the derivative of the function. And all of these expressions are pertaining to the first derivative of the function. So let us now proceed with getting the derivative of a function. The first function that we will differentiate is the function f of x equals ax. So our function is a monomial where a is the coefficient and it is any real number and our x is raised to 1. So for the meantime, we're just going to consider that our x is just raised to 1. So the derivative of this function or f prime of x is simply equal to a, the coefficient of ax. For example, our function f of x is equal to x. Since it is automatic that we, we know that the coefficient is 1, so the f prime of x is simply equal to 1. Another example would be if f of x is equal to 3x, its derivative or f prime of x is simply equal to 3, the coefficient of 3x. And then lastly, we have f of x equals negative 4x. So the derivative f prime of x is equal to negative 4. The coefficient in our term negative 4x of our original function. This time, what if our f of x is equal to x squared? Find f prime of x. So as we can see here, our function now this time is x squared. Our variable x has an exponent equal to 2. So our function is in the form of x raised to n, where n is any real number, n except 1. So the derivative of this function is simply f prime of x is equal to n x raised to n minus 1. The, coef uh, the coefficient will be coming from the exponent of our x and then our x now will be raised to n minus 1. So in the case of f of x equals x squared, therefore our n is 2, which is the exponent of x. So in getting the derivative of x squared, that is simply f prime of x is equal to 2x. So the exponent 2 becomes its coefficient 
and then our x is now raised to 2 minus 1, or that is 1, and we do not write any more 1 in the exponent because it is automatic that if we don't see any, expo any exponent, it is understood that it is equal to 1. In a case where our f of x is equal to ax raised to n, where a is any real number and that is the coefficient of our variable x and the exponent is any real number except 1, the derivative of this function is equal to f prime of x is equal to a times n x raised to n minus 1. So the exponent will be multiplied to the coefficient and our x now will be raised to n minus 1. So let us now find the derivatives of the following functions. a, f of x is equal to 2x raised to 4. b, f of x is equal to negative 3x raised to 5. And for c, f of x is equal to 5, x raised to negative 2. So, all of these functions are in the form of ax raised to n. For f of x equals 2x raised to 4, our n is 4, and our a, the coefficient, is 2. So, to get the derivative, f prime of x is equal to 2 will be multiplied by the value of the exponent n, and that is 4, and now our x will be raised to 4 minus 1. So f prime of x is now equal to 8x cubed. For the function f of x equals negative 3x raised to 5, our n is equal to 5. So n minus 1 is equal to 4. And in this function, our coefficient is negative 3. And so, f prime of x now will be equal to the, the coefficient negative 3 will be multiplied by 5, which is the n. And our x now will be raised to 5 minus 1. So, the f prime of x now is equal to negative 15x raised to 4. And lastly, for our f of x equals 5x raised to negative 2, so take note that our n is negative 2, and so n minus 1 is equal to negative 3. So in f prime of x, 5, the coefficient, will be multiplied to negative 2, the exponent, and our x now will be raised to n minus 1, or that is negative 2 minus 1, and so the derivative of our function f prime of x will be now be equal to negative 10 x raised to negative 3. Let us now find the derivative of f of x equals x raised to 4 over 2. You might be wondering how can we get the derivative of this function that involves fraction. But actually, we can simplify this function f of x equals x raised to 4 over 2 into f of x equals 1 half times x raised to 4. So in this case, 1 half will be our coefficient and x now is still raised to positive 4. So we can still get the derivative we can get the derivative of this function in the form ax raised to n. So to get the derivative, so our f prime of x now will be the coefficient one half will be multiplied to n, which is four, then our x will be raised to four minus one. Simplifying this, we will now be having four over two x raised to 3. But since 4 over 2 can still be simplified, that means our f prime of x is equal now to 2x cubed. 
Find the derivative of f of x equals negative 3x raised to 5 divided by 12 or over 12. So our original function is negative 3x raised to 5 over 12. This can be simplified as f of x equals negative 3 over 12 times x raised to 5. So we are now in the form of ax raised to n. So to get the derivative, f prime of x now will be equal to the coefficient negative 3 over 12 will be multiplied to the exponent of x which is 5 and then our x now will be raised to 5 minus 1. Simplifying this, our f prime of x now will be equal to negative 15 over 12 x raised to 4. But negative 15 over 12 can still be simplified or we can get the lowest term of this fraction. So our final answer now would be f prime of x is equal to negative 5 over 4 x raised to 4 or it is also the same as f prime of x equals negative 5x raised to 4 over 4. And now, we go to the derivative of a constant. f of x equals c. c is any real number and it is a constant. The derivative of a constant is simply 0. So f prime of x is equal to 0. For example, if our function f of x is equal to 3, the derivative f prime of x is equal to 0. Another one would be, f of x equals negative 4, its derivative is also 0. And f of x equals 15, still, f prime of x is equal to 0. Let us now proceed with finding the derivative of a polynomial. So find the derivative of f of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. So as you can see here, we have a polynomial function and it has four terms. To get the derivative of the polynomial, it is the same as getting the derivative of each term. So that means we're going to get the derivative of this term x cubed, then also the derivative of 2x squared, also for 4x, and then for the constant 5. And then we use the same operations. So, f prime of x now will be, for our first term, that is x cubed, the derivative will be, the exponent will become its numerator, and x now will be raised to 3 minus 1. Minus, minus. In this term, 2x squared, the derivative would be, the coefficient 2 will be multiplied to its exponent 2 and x will be raised to 2 minus 1. Plus, plus, for the term 4x, this is in the form of ax, wherein x is raised to 1, the derivative is simply the coefficient, so that is 4. And lastly, plus, plus, the derivative of a constant in this case, it is 5, is simply equal to 0. So, f prime of x now will be equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 4. Another example of getting the derivative of a polynomial, we have f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 3. So again, we're going to simply get the derivative of each term and use the same operations. So f prime of x now will be equal to, for the ter first term, we have 2 will be multiplied to the exponent of our x, which is 3, and then our x will be now raised to 3 minus 1, plus 3 will be multiplied to 2, which is the exponent of x of our second term, and x will be raised to 2 
minus 1. Minus for the derivative of 5x, that is simply 5. And then lastly, minus the derivative of constant 3 is equal to 0. So, therefore, the f prime of x of our polynomial is equal to 6x squared plus 6x minus 5. So this ends our part 1 of the discussion about the derivative of a function. Stay tuned for the part 2 wherein I'm going to discuss how to get the derivative of a product, the derivative of a quotient, the derivative of a rational function, as well as the derivative of different types of logarithmic functions. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends and classmates. Thank you and God bless.